actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever. Today's going to be a fun little episode. I know I'm jumping right in, but I'm just so excited. Because <laughs> I honestly, okay, I'm, I was going to talk about it before even introducing it. We're going to be um, talking about our g- guilty pleasures oh. and reading some of your guys' guilty pleasures. Now, quick, quickly before we start, I was writing down guilty pleasures, and then I really got confused on what guilty pleasures actually are. Versus, like, I was like, Oh, a guilty pleasure is that I like fruit roll-ups. And I'm like, that's not necessarily a guilty pleasure. It's just the pleasure. That's just the pleasure. (laughs) Without the guilt. Without the guilt. I had the opposite experience, too, because I asked Stephen, and one of the ones I wrote down is from Stephen. I asked him, I was like, what are what are some of my guilty pleasures? And he's like, uh, leaving your clothes on the ground even though they're right next to the laundry basket. I was like, that's just guilt. I don't get any pleasure. (laughs) Right. I I am just a flawed human. But I'm not like, Oh, yes. Time yeah. to drop my dirty laundry right next to the laundry basket. Right. But not put it in. You're, and, and also, I didn't ask what you disliked about <laughs> yeah. me. I didn't I ask said, you to read pet peeves. peeves. Yeah. We're not doing the pet peeves yeah. episode. That's a different yeah. question, Steven. <laughs> He's like, well, I just thought yeah. I'd take the opportunity. Like, well, <laughs> while we're here, um, put your clothes in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be reading some of your guys' guilty pleasures uh, that you guys sent in from the group chat, which I'm so excited to see. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I want to take this moment to give you your weekly reminder to hit that subscribe button. Yes. Reminder, we are trying to hit our 100,000 subscriber mark. And I deserve a subscribe for that. <laughs> Thank she you. Almost, she, she, she almost didn't get it out. I just had to lock eyes with Ryan. I'm, I'm good. Yes, like, that was good. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes, you're doing, good job. You know when, when your kid looks at you and you're like, yes, get to keep going. Good job. <laughs> so subscribe. <laughs> Well, usually this is the part where we would read from the group chat, but because we're pulling from the group chat a bunch of guilty pleasures, do we start with ours and then do the group chat? Do we sprinkle them in? Should we start? I feel like Ryan's got some you good. I feel like we should start. Yeah. Yeah. We should say ours. Okay. And then we'll react to theirs. Yeah. I like that. I like (laughs) that. And I think I want to go first. And I think you should go first. (laughs) You're busting at the seam. (laughs) What what are you guys so guilty about? It's really, here's the thing. I do feel a little bit of guilt, but I think. Another part of me is just like, this is just what, like, this is just what I like. And I'm sorry. This but is I real. Am, this is me. Yeah. So to define a guilty pleasure, it's like something that m- other people might yeah, it's feel guilty about. Yeah, something that you enjoy. feel guilty about. But, but are that, embarrassed like, about. That are a little bit embarrassing. That you are not advertising. Right. That you do this thing. Right. So, not telling the internet. Yeah. Oh, yes. glad yeah. I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> but here we are telling the internet. So... The first one I have, which is probably obvious, but it's still not something I love to share, is I just, I love Justin Bieber. I just do. And I feel a lot of embarrassment about it because it's not like the coolest thing to enjoy. But like, I I don't know what to tell anybody. It is what it is. I love Justin Bieber. And I wrote Justin Bieber for exclamation points. And then I wrote, holy shit. Justin Bieber, four exclamation points, holy shit. And I think I wrote holy shit because I was like, what? like, this is a big one. Like, this is one that I really feel a lot of guilt about, but that I enjoy so much. The thing is, too, it's not necessarily, like, super embarrassing to, like, love his music or be like, oh, yeah, I listen to Justin Bieber. But you don't just, like, like Justin Bieber's music. No, I, like, love Justin Bieber. You love the, uh, yeah, Justin Bieber. I do. She's got the fee- Bieber, Bieber fee- fever. Bieber. I do. Down bad. I do. It, a believer. A believer. Yes. Can I get the sound bite? Mm, I, Ryan, no. am a. My name is Ryan, Ryan. Christina, and I am a believer. I want that sound bite. I <laughs> never said that. So. Rich is like, <laughs> I know you just take. like, what is it called when you like, uh, uh, just cut, could you just cut yeah. the pieces oh, together and you like, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I, Justin, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like in SpongeBob when he's like, I am ugly and I am proud. And you're like, I'm a believer and I am proud. I'm a believer, but I'm not proud. (laughs) That's why it's guilty. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's not cool. Like, it's really not cool. And who cares about being cool? I guess me, but it's not cool to like, like him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really isn't. Who who yeah. do you know that's like yeah just to be really so cool like you uh, yeah yeah I was like you're that name girl and someone you're cool. else name somebody yeah. else name one other person probably Haley Bieber I don't think so <laughs> I don't think she likes I that man the pictures that's... of her with the bag of 
see well, it? Well, have from you back seen the, the pic- have you seen the tabloids that they- everyone's saying they got a divorce or they're no. getting a divorce or that's like happening? I, well, he, oh my they don't God. follow each other on Instagram anymore. <gasps> yes, I what? sent her on Snapchat. I w- literally saw it on Snapchat and I sent her voice memo and I was like, hey, I know you're with your man and I f- didn't think a phone call was serious enough, but I need you to l- confirm these allegations. Did <laughs> Justin Bieber, in fact, is no longer with Haley Bieber? Like, what is the tea? I, and I reached out and I asked. Obviously cannot confirm or deny. I don't know anything. And I'm not like- Ask Justin. I, right, let's just call him up. <laughs> yeah, I'm man. not What in would the... happen if you just- Called Taylor up. Right. That's exactly <laughs> what she did. That's exactly, basically, that's basically what she did. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, it's not just be for discourse. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> you you want to go? <laughs> okay. So this is something that I love, 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 love. Like I truly, this is one of my favorite activities to do. My biggest guilty pleasure is eating in bed. I am sorry if it gets the crumbs in the bed. I will use them as exfoliation. I do not care. <laughs> I love eating in the bed. Retweet. I wrote that. I wrote eating in bed too. There is something so beautiful about being snuggly as a Cinnabon and just eating and having a good time in there. I don't know. Yeah. Guilty. I'll, Guilty. I'll vacuum the bed after. Like, let's not act like we can't clean We can things. even just change the sheets. It's That's really fine, not deep. But, but... Oh, and, and my man's. Uh, he, Ryan's like, I think that that was like the first pet peeve that he was like, when we first started dating, he was like, you're eating in bed? What What are you doing? And I was like, oh, and this is like not deep. I was like, sometimes I bring out like the whole spread and like trays. Right, and you're like, like, I'm just eating chips in here, bro. I lay down a towel and then like bring out the spread. Like this is, and he at times I remember was like, babe, I just really don't think. And I was like, I sat, had to sit him down and be like, I understand and I hear you, but I simply am not changing this because I love this so much. And if you took this away from me, just throw me out i don't want it <laughs> it's giving room service i mean it, right yeah jessica it well, is my favorite the thing, my favorite thing to do when i'm on vacation is to get room service because yes. i'm in the robe i'm in the bed and they bring out the tray and i'm like oh my god right i'm so sorry now here's the thing you say eating in bed i like eating snacks in bed but i don't like having a full meal in bed and maybe that's because i'm like a messy girl and i feel like i'm mm. just gonna i'm worried about spilling i'm gonna spill so i i don't like eating like food food in bed mm-hmm. like unless i'm like sick or i have to what right. if i got you like a food tray still, i feel that's like still i'd dicey. still spill it mm-hmm. on myself yeah just kind of like not being fully seated up but a bag of chips a little snacky snack late at night Hits love it so hard i'm with you yeah i think that's i agree i love to eat in bed i'll eat a whole meal in bed burger ramen like I'll the just postmates just arrived i'm grabbing the bag yes and directly going going into, the bag, into just my bed it and just, yep and i have in fact, spilled an entire like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Salsa. Remember? Yep. I was at home. Yep. Yeah, because I was eating tacos. <laughs> yep. And on See, her that's white where I sheets. I feel like I couldn't do it because it would just be spilling all over me. Yeah. And Ryan could. She was like, "Oh my!" And I was all like, "All over her white sheets." I was like, "My Bro. white sheets were just red salsa." Do you have a mattress pad? I have one that's like. I guess it is a a, a, a cover for the mattress. Yeah. yeah. So that is a mattress. That's but but the stain, you st- it stained your, your yeah, sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's red. It was red. Yeah, it was red. Oh, my red God. Red, the blood of, of angry, angry sheets. <laughs> 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 okay. So, go ahead, Sierra. Okay. So I, I like that you brought up how much Ryan has tried to change you on this one because <laughs> this is one for me, too, with Steven. Um, I love to pop zits. Mm. Mine, somebody else's, doesn't matter. Deal. I, uh, zits, ingrown hairs. I just want to pop and pluck. Mm-hmm. And so if Steven has a zit, I'm like, <laughs> right. me and you later. <laughs> right. And I'm going to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And he is reluctant. But uh, sometimes sometimes he'll, he'll be like, hey, Sierra. Right. Th- I think. You can pop this. And I'm like, yes. Why? It's so satisfying. And then on myself, I hate the feeling of having a zit. And I know it's I know it's bad for your skin. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't have to tell me. I know. I know. <laughs> I've been told. Do I've not been care. told. Right. And, and I'm aware. And after I pop it, I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. It's gonna scab. And right. I over pop it too. I can't just do the one pop. Right. I'm always like, there's more in there. Wow. Oh my right. God. As hell. Right. Question, have yeah. you ever had a situation where you got a, love a little too overzealous and you just like helped yourself and like you kind of just like saw a zit on him and you're like, oh, let me just, or oh, let me just, and he's like, uh, you need to at least. Yeah, I think that's how it started with him being like, I will tell you mm. if I want a zit popped. Right. And now I'm always just like. Waiting for him to tell you. Okay. 
<laughs> You're like, hey, you have a zit right there. He's like, yep, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I asked You're for like, a friend yeah. because that also was a situation with Ryan and I. And he was like, okay, babe, like I understand, but like you can't just like come up at me and like right. I, I'm not prepared in this moment. And so yeah. right. I'm like, okay, that is fair. Save them for me and I will handle it. Exactly. So I will, I was like, I could send you some footage. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, and I'll watch like the pimple videos. popping videos on TikTok. Maybe you need to watch pimple popping ASMR. Uh, I don't know if I would like oh, the that. sounds might be a little oh, okay. Gross. I see. think I like it's like satisfying to it. see, but I think I'd rather have a lot of the times I have like instrumental backing music. A lot of the time it like will weirdly be like inspirational music, like <laughs> classic, like and it's like a pimple popping. Right. I'd rather have that than like. <laughs> okay, that's tea. The ingrown okay, hair yeah. videos where like the more hair just keeps coming oh, out. Love oh it. Oh my God. I love, love it. it. Did you ever get on your For You page those like rocks that like you could like fill it up and you pop them yourselves? Because during COVID, that was promoted the heck to me because I like to pop. So it was like this thing that you, they send it to you and you like literally push it and you pull stuff out of it. And oh, I would love so that. You do, so you, and it's like to encourage doing this to that item rather than your face. Your face. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that might be good. That might be good. Yeah. yeah. Because scarring. Yeah. Right. And, and I love. I love to pop zits on myself and I, ple- my face lady, please don't hear this. Cause she's like, don't, don't, right, don't. But right. how am I not going to? Yeah. Right. Question. How? 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 I, no. I, I if I know. see the white head, right, I'm going to just. That's the thing. I, I have to convince myself to wait for the white head, but there's no convincing myself that I'm not going to do it after. I simply just put a pimple patch on it and walk away. And that's the Normal. adult thing to do. Well, Unfortunately. I don't, yeah. I don't I like that. That, mm-hmm. that like grosses me out. I don't. I will pop a pimple on my own face if I feel like I need to, but I'm not going up to anyone and touching their face and trying to pop it. That's not well, something I want to do. if you ever have a zit. I won't. <laughs> just, you know who to call. No, no, no. You know who to no, call. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have star patch all over my face. I will walk around with 40 star patches on my face before I let people pimp pop my pimples. And that is the respectable thing to do. Thank you. Unfortunately. I am a little trash goblin who just wants to pop zits yeah. and pull out Y'all should pop hairs. each other's zits. That's what I told her. If you need somebody. Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, I walk in, it's just Sierra and Sierra pulling like. <laughs> on each other's faces yes, at the same time. Yes. Sickos. I'm like tucking your lip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God, ew. Okay, anyways. Oh, okay. So one of mine was eating in bed. So we'll cross that off because Love it. we already said that. My next one. Okay, this one's also, I just realized also has something to do with the bed, but I will get home from any place, anywhere, even if I was outside for five seconds or I come back from work, whatever, it doesn't matter. I literally take off all of my clothes and get in the bed immediately. Get, I don't sit on the couch. I don't like hang out and do stuff. I'm taking off all of my clothing. And booking it. And I'm getting it inside the bed, like <laughs> under the covers just to like. I've always wanted to be like a, a nudie sleeper. I always. And I'm not, I'm not sleeping. Oh, okay. Just cool. in the middle of the day. Okay. I am just. Oh, getting back from somewhere. Like, obviously, if I'm out, whatever, I have clothes on, it's fine. But like, if I know I'm going to be home, clothes are off. And I'm like. And what part of that makes you feel guilty? Because I feel like I don't have to be like fully nude. I'm not nude. I mean, I got underwear on or whatever. But like, I don't I feel like I could be probably a little bit more, you know, social. But I can't be social if I don't have clothes on Mm. and I'm in my bed. But like I would rather just like be in my bed with no clothes on than like go sit on the couch and do something or like maybe go make a meal. Like I would rather just get into bed. Right. Mm. Well, you know. Listen, we love these. We are ladies that love our beds. I do feel a little guilty because I'm like I could definitely like not be a hermit right now. And is it that the fact that you immediately strip down makes it harder for you to get out and do anything else? So oh, you're yeah. like, once I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. And like I, I have my laptop here. I can work. I can do what I got to do. Like it's yeah. all here. My food is here. <laughs> my laptop Hell, is I here. I gotta go nowhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's so. It's also. It's really bad when I'm at Ryan's because I'm like. Let's just get in the bed and watch a movie. Like, and he's like, I have th- things to do. And I'm about to walk out of this room in five minutes. I'm like, okay, well, you can just put your pants back on when you walk out. Like, it's fine. Right. Let's just. <laughs> he's like, that's just a waste of time. Like, get undressed and dress and undress. Like, it's 2 p.m. The day is not done. I'm like, I didn't say it was. <laughs> See, that's my problem. I feel like if I did that, the day would be done. Like, I once I get into bed. Right. That's kind of it. Right. No, it's hard. <laughs> well, that's, that's hard to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's hard. But listen. Guilty. I know. And pleasurable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My next guilty pleasure, I hope that you guys can resonate with, so I don't feel so alone, um, is someone 
in the house or like you know that the house is about to be empty and like they like look over and they're like oh I'm about to head out and then you and I start getting being like oh the house is about to be empty I'm gonna be all alone I know what I'm gonna do I'm going to scream sing at the top of my lungs mean girls frozen anything that I haven't had to had the opportunity to belt while I'm home alone I just love screlting at the top of my lungs and I know the neighbors can hear me because I right. have had a neighbor come knock on my door one time okay and that's it right do you give him a show? Please tell me you guys like to do that too. Not as much as I used to when I was like, like that was my my shtick when I was like a teenager. Like right. just any moment I was home alone belting. Right. But now it's less common. Yeah. But I do, I have started having like scream, sing, dance parties with Grace sometimes. And that's really fun. Because I think there's an element of that that is just like, girlhood right you know of like alone in your house singing Mm -hmm. right at the top of your lungs belting pretending you're on a stage but like no one is there to hear you right and like it's kind of fun to like do that again with grace which i think has made me like do that more and recently actually after the last podcast episode yeah i was cooking dinner and i was vlogging and i just had like a full hour sing along by myself and it was awesome i love that (laughs) that is so nice that like yeah and it hits a part of you, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it feels it feels a little bit like juvenile to do yeah. that because, right? It's like I don't have to wait until people are gone to do this thing, but also like I'm a little bit embarrassed and like, yeah. Because especially if you sing, you're probably not. You probably don't sound good. Like yeah. you probably don't sound great, right? You're like singing songs that like you probably. And I'm can't trying to figure really out like sing. that's the time to figure out where the the note goes. Right. Yeah. You're like, let me sing this really hard song and see where I, where how where it goes. Where it lands. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. And and there's an element of it that's like just purely singing for fun, mm-hmm. which as singers, right. I feel like we don't do very much. Right. Yeah. Because it's like when I'm singing, it is for a purpose and I have to sound good and I have to hit the notes and I have to right. think about these technical things versus just like, la. Like, yeah. Right. Very different. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm like, so my, I love that. <laughs> my mom's like going to Vaughn's. I would be like, great. Hell yeah. I will have 30 minutes. Yeah. And I'll go to the specific part of the house that has like great acoustics. Right. Right. Because what to, you know? No, right. Oh, I feel so good. And I love hearing that because how exciting. Me. Oh, when I have a child. Oh, my God. It's giving you want to sing and dance all the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and not have to feel guilty about it. Right. Exactly. I feel that, Well, though. I guess I could do it around Ryan and not feel guilty about it, but I do. Yeah. Also, he doesn't want to hear me sing the same part right. of on my own 10 times. Yeah, and we right. have to rewind it 10 times because we're getting better right. every and if time. I. Yeah, if I did not hit the note, I, I'm, doing it, I'm doing it again. Or I'm done. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I cannot recover That's from that. That's what happens to me. I'll like start singing something like out loud and then it's like bad and I stop and I'm like, whoa, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and you whatever. Done. Yeah, and we're done. Yeah. You know what's funny too? I always start like singing along just to like a playlist and you know it's serious when you start pulling up YouTube and going on my own instrumental Lyrics. version. Yeah, yeah. Like getting the instrumental. Yes. Yes, I feel seen. Oh, I do feel that. I do feel I that. I feel that and I still guiltily do that. And I mean, wh- if, even for when I was trying to do vocal lessons, I'd be like, hey, Ryan, can you oh, like yeah, I would walk have to, around like, the block for 30 minutes? Yeah, I would, I would go to like a cafe and like sit there. I'm like, okay, it's been almost time. I should walk back at this time because she'll be wrapping up. Okay, awesome. But uh, she doesn't know this, but I would come back early, stand by the door and listen. <laughs> I cannot believe you. You're lying to me right now. We're about to I fight right that. now. Cut the tapes quickly. <laughs> no. That's so cute. No, though. yeah. It was good. And I and I never did it at the beginning of the lesson. I always did it at the end because I knew you probably sucked at the beginning. And at the end, you had it together and You're you had sang the your song. Yeah, exactly. I want to die. <laughs> but you never knew. You never knew. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. My (laughs) hands are so sweaty. (laughs) Sorry. That's so cute, though. Um, I wanted to hear. Yeah. And I did. And that's Ryan's guilty pleasure. Yeah. 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 Literally. She's outside with the door. Literally. (laughs) Truly. (laughs) Fantastic. When I went to SCSU and I was in their theater department, one of my favorite parts is they had an underground basement just for like theater performance and music majors Mm -hmm. where they had like, 20 of these like little like soundproofed stalls that you could just book out and go in there it it was literally like a little closet like Uh no bigger than our equipment closet here in the podcast room and all it had was like a mirror and like a a music stand for sheet music oh wow and you could just go in there and just scream oh because if you're in a dorm 
You can't be right. like yeah. loudly proud. And yeah. when you're living with, you know, four, five, six people, it's not going to be, oh, I'm going out real quick. I'll be back. Right. Because everyone's schedules Somebody, are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's there always. Yeah. And that was just therapeutic. I would be like, I'd get my sheet music and my binder and I'd walk across campus. It was like a 15 minute walk to the basement area. Right. Oh my God. I loved it. That's cool. Yeah. That is giving me an idea that I want a closet that is soundproof, actually. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. for real. And and I'll, I, it's not like we don't need it. Like, I'm always shooting, like, voiceover or something. And I have, yeah. like, a towel over my head right. in, like, a room or something right. like that. Right, right. I know. We could probably fil- we could film, like, ads and stuff in there. Yeah. Like, like all right, I'll look into it. I know. And like- when you have a lot of feelings, you can just go in there and scream sing. Oh, T. You're so right. You're like, hold on, I need a minute. <laughs> oh, right. Come and walk out. All right. Anyways. Uh, Refresh. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Ooh, I do love that. You like leave and you're like, well, I'm like, I just sang legally blonde. And, like you're just like, well, right. I got into it. Right. Ooh, what's your guys's like, I'm having a lot of big feelings and I need to sing it out song. I don't sing yeah. when I'm feeling. Yeah. Really? I, yeah, no. You don't have one? No. Do you ever like have a song where you're either a car or you're alone and you know you need to cry and it's like the spark that lets you cry? Oh, yeah. Maybe not to sing to it. I don't know. No. No. I just cry or do it. I don't know. I don't like. You don't need the song to get it out of you. No, unfortunately. Not. I'm so pent up that. It just comes. Yep, it just comes. Very earth sign of you. <laughs> For a long time, my like cued up song to put on that I'm like, okay, I'm, I need to cry. It was You'll Be In My Heart by Phil Collins. <laughs> I was like, right. I'm feeling it. All right, here we go. Why is it so good, though? No, that it's does a great. Dude, that soundtrack is. Phil Collins, I love you. Yeah. Perfect. Tarzan, oh, it's such a good soundtrack. The whole thing is so good. I know. All the mm. memes about like Phil Collins like writing the music for that are so funny, too. It'll be like, it's just a movie about a guy living in a jungle. You don't have to go hard. And then it's like a picture of like a piano on fire. Right, right. <laughs> That's so tea. Oh. It's all the monkeys at like the campsite. You're like, right. trash in the camp. Mm-hmm. Too Iconic. good. Such uh, all of it. So is that the song you sobbed to, Sierra? Trash in the Camp? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what's yours? I, you know, I don't have one now, but you know what it used to be? The song from last five years where Kathy's like, you know what makes me crazy? I'm sorry. Can I say this? You know what makes me nuts? The yes. fact that we could be together. Like there's just so much emotion. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. That that could just get it out of me. That was when I was at STSU. Yeah. That's, oh. Yeah. Was that the song you were singing oh, in yeah. your- Oh, yeah. In, in the basement. Basement yeah. closet thing, yeah. <laughs> and you weren't going to choose someone else to be with. No, you are. Yes, Jamie. That's exactly what you're doing. You could be there with me or be that. Ugh. It's so fun. <laughs> like, that is just rage. Right. Yeah. Like, pent up female rage in a song. That I made love me think that. of, I think I know my singing cry, crying song, Burn by Hamilton. <gasps> oh. Because you, bro, because yes. you yeah. this and you yeah. that. And you, you know that part where she just names yep. everything you've done and yes. then, the, hope yeah. you burn, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. cry to that one and I. Now I want to go sing that. I know. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a, that's Ooh, a really I fun one to cry chill. with the emotions. Oh, um, She Used to Be Mine is another one that's yes. like very emotionally. Emotional. <laughs> and and that's such like a cathartic one to sing because it starts so slow and measured. And by the time you get to that last bridge and chorus, mm-hmm. it is just like, again, like there's kind of that element of female rage yeah. in all of these songs. Yeah. And maybe that's why we, we like that. Not you, because you don't scream sing. But right. <laughs> you don't cry. <laughs> but like it gives us a vehicle to like express female yeah. rage, which right. isn't really accepted at all. Like, yeah. For women, yeah, you right, know, yeah, and yeah. it just kind of gives us an opportunity to express that in a way that's like more socially acceptable, mm-hmm. right? I it's a one from Mamma Mia where she, oh gosh, where she's like singing in the movie when she's singing spoilers for Mamma Mia one or two. <laughs> um, she's singing and she's holding the baby, and like Donna's gone. It's like, I wonder, it's frightening. Yes. Da, 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 da. I think you sing it to Grace. It's like, my love, my light. Yes. That one gets me. Or the one where they're like slipping through my fingers and it's slipping like the through mom my brushing oh, right. her hair. Dude, yeah. Grace uh-huh. specifically asked me to sing her that song last night. It was so sweet. She, because I sing to her every night and last night she was having like a hard time. And so I sang to her, I rocked her in the chair and then she wanted me to sit in the chair and sing to her while she laid in the crib, mm-hmm. which like she never really asked for. So I was like, Okay, like right. I'll sing you one song. Like, what song do you want? And she goes, Bye bye eat song. Bye bye eat. And I'm like, Bye bye eat. What is bye bye? And I'm like, Oh, oh, the part, the line where it's like, uh, Her and me at the breakfast table, barely awake. I let precious time slip by. She Wait, said, Bye bye eat. eat. 
And and at first, I wasn't totally you are sure. So smart for Kathy. I know. Like, I'd have been I'm like, girl, girl, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, bye. And then I was like slipping through my fingers, and she was like, yeah, yeah. And then like r- laid right down. And Aww. I sang the whole thing to her, and then she was fine when I left. And I was like, but I'm not. Stopping. Right, right. So I was like, bye. okay, <laughs> right. Oh my god. Well, that's beautiful. The fact that your daughter requested that right. her mother to sing that to her, I'd be like. Anything for you. Yeah, right. Literally. Oh, that's so beautiful. And I love just that. the act of you saying like, oh, I sing to her every night is so beautiful. Like right. that right there is so special so and beautiful. Sweet. That yeah. has brought back a lot of my love of singing. Because again, mm-hmm. like it's purely just for her. Mm-hmm. For right, fun. right. You know, it's something like that's not a performance. Yeah. Right. And so it has allowed me to like just enjoy singing. And they're also very soft songs. And as like a belter, a belter, I was never given Soft right. songs, right? So it's kind of fun, <laughs> just, but I don't get out the female rage. So, <laughs> right. Well, that's well. That's for the car. To, yeah, you <laughs> the need car. To, for your car in the closet. We're gonna build in here. Yes, exactly. Okay, my next guilty pleasure is I love country music in the summer, and I I don't want to like it, but there's something about hanging out on the beach or floating in the pool and Redneck Yacht Club is playing. <laughs> Or something like that by, is it is it Keith Urban who sings? I don't know who sings that, but it, when he's, I got a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. yeah. The rest of the year? <laughs> no. No. Right. Not at all. Summertime? Something happens. So why do you feel guilty about that? I think the type of country music that I like in the summer is like, not very good. It's just, yeah, it's not great. And it also definitely has some like right wing undertones. Right. Like there are a lot of the times in these songs, there'll be like a random like bridge where they're like, and then we praise the flag and yeah. America. And I'm like, like, and the barbecue stain on my shirt. Right. Like, You're like, I'm here for, <laughs> yeah, for that. Go. Yeah. yeah. That's so fair. I, I think it's like the political undertones, the fact that I don't think it's like great music. Right. I just like the vibe. Right. And it's like a little embarrassing like when other people come over and I'm like, oh no, like let's turn on like Iration Radio or like Sublime. Like we're like San Diego beachy, but then I'm like sprinkling a little country. Right. Mm-hmm. Cue up some uh, yeah. She's like, I want some Kenny Chisney in here. Yes. I feel yeah. like you're like redneck woman country music station. Oh yeah, Gretchen oh, my Wilson. God. T, actually. That's a, yeah, that's T? a good one. Yeah. 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 I like that one. I love that. And I feel that too. If I'm near a body of water, lake, river, pool, country music is really good. And I feel like summertime too. It just, they're always like water. Yeah. Anyways. Water, water. beer, I swear, and women. Yeah. I literally. wish I was joking, but there is a literal song that goes like that because I remember being like, there is no way this is a song. And he literally was like, water. And no. I was like, oh, incredible. It's like that Bo Burnham. Actually, have you ever said? Yes, the Bo Burnham country song. Yes. Mm. Okay. No, no, no. It's a joke of all that. And right. it's like talking about how they're not really saying anything. And he's right. like, a red pickup, a Bud Light with the logo facing out. Like, it's very <laughs> just like making fun. Right. It's like, you dumb motherfuckers want a key change? <laughs> Theatically <laughs> meandering. You're yeah. like, oh, it's just all the... It- the layer, layers of right. making a well, country yeah, song. Well, yeah, it's like beer and women in my truck. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's, and it's also funny because most of them are writing that from their private jet. Right. And that's like, what he said. I'm just a good old farmer. <laughs> right. On my tractor. It's like you definitely live in like a $50 million mansion. Mm-hmm. But right. Like, like, but you wear a cowboy hat, so you're yeah. like feeling like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeehaw. Yeah. <laughs> yeehaw. And with you that, know, yeehaw. If you like country music, no shade. I, I like it. I don't like that about me that I like it, but I do like it. Uh-huh. And uh, you can always take me on a ride in your big green tractor. <laughs> right. A, a and, bop. And, and, and your John Deere. They owe and yep. they yeah. drop, drop that all the time. Right. The original influencers. <laughs> Just country <laughs> men. Yeah. Sponsor me, John Deere. I know. <laughs> Sponsor me, John Deere. I, be, I would like that. My grandpa used to ride John Deere tractors. I'm from Indiana. Fun fact. Anyway. <laughs> Um, my last guilty pleasure, and I, I don't think I'm, well, yeah, it's a little big, yeah, okay, yeah, just, okay. You yeah. were going to say you're not really embarrassed about I'm it, and really, then, well, yeah, because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, well, yeah, um, I love, 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 every single day I consume this, I love Family Guy, I love Family Guy, and I love Family Guy, and I love American Dad, I love Seth MacFarlane, it is what it is, people don't like it, because whatever, that's fair, I love it, I Love it. I think it's so funny. Um, but also I've seen it, I watch it every day. 
just like it puts me to bed like it's just like something that I put on so I don't actually like laugh at it anymore because I like know what's happening it just like is just noise but I love it damn it's so good I love it a lot of people don't and I that's fair but I love it see I don't dislike Family Guy or American Dad like I've and I've gone through phases where I like watch a lot of it and then don't watch a lot of it but I don't know if I've ever met anyone who's like, that's their favorite show, right? Yeah. Like a lot of people like watch it, mm-hmm. right. but I don't think a lot of people are like super enthusiastic about it, which is the interesting part. You don't just yeah. like it. You I love it. Love it. Yeah. It's like I your think, security blank for sure. Yeah, like you love it. That's I think that's also probably why I love it so much. Like, I don't know if I started watching it now, if I would be like, oh, well, maybe. But it's mindless. It's so mindless. It's just stupid. Like I don't have to like sit there and like really be intensely watching. I'm not a, gonna cry. Cause somebody like it's so easy on my brain, on my emotions. It like doesn't cause me to feel anything, but like maybe I'll laugh and like that's great. And it's just like background noise and that's it. And that's her truth. Yeah. And it's like very politically hilarious. Like <laughs> it's just like, and it's with the times, right? Where they're talking about stuff that's happening right now. Like, and I just, I love it. Yeah. Fellow Family Guy and American Dads out there, say hey. Say hey. Make because... me not feel alone because <laughs> because I, I I definitely feel like I'm like the only one who's like really in that. Like there's not really anybody in my life that's like, Ryan is now, but the, uh, that's by default. You brought him into it. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm with you on American Dad. Like that's a background show. Did yeah. you know Seth MacFarlane writes music? Uh yeah. And it's really good. Yeah, I mean, he, that's why he sings. And also, also there's, there's so, so much music singing. In it. Yeah. There's uh-huh. so many musical numbers, which I think I also just like love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, love it. Does it feel good <laughs> to get that off your chest? Uh, I can't tell yet. <laughs> I know. I was like, I, was like, I, I can't you're still, tell. <laughs> you're still guilty. Yeah. You're still feeling guilty. I still guilt. feel guilty. But I'm, I mean, it's just, it's very comforting also. Yeah. yeah. Like all, I said, we all have a, do you have any of those like comforting comfort shows here that you're like, I'm just going to throw this on for safety? I have more comfort movies and I like don't mm. have to finish the whole thing. It's just right. like I put it on and my comfort movies are honestly embarrassing. And one of them I was going to write down, but then I was like, I don't know if that's like good enough for like a guilty pleasure. Right. My guilty pleasure like comfort shows, National Treasure. Right. Endgame. From, like, right. In, Avengers. In the, in the Avengers. Right. Right. Yeah. right. 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 And recently one that actually is a show. I've been watching H2O on Netflix. Did I tell you guys this? <laughs> no. no. They added it to Netflix, the mermaid show from Nickelodeon. Yeah. Right. That has become like a comfort background show. Mm. And I can just sit there on my phone doing whatever and be like, oh, no. Clear. <laughs> Clear. No. That's so funny. I didn't know that was on Netflix. It, I, yeah, I think it recently got added. I caught so it. So it's kind of like in the recent rotation, but usually National Treasure or Endgame. Wow. Mm. And National Treasure, that's that's embarrassing. I get I it. I mean, a little, but like, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I haven't seen that in so long. I know. Do you have any? I'm trying to think if I, I think what I end up doing is like, I try to find like a show that can be on mindlessly, like, but it's like new. For example, Dance Moms, that was my guilty for a long time because that's such a long, so many seasons and I can just know what's going on, but like still like be here on, if I'm on my laptop, do that. So you don't really be going back to like a certain show yeah, or thing. Yeah, not mm. really. No. And right now I think that I'm literally just in the phase of the love islands and the loves, all, all those love shows, mm. that on rotation on in the background. Cause and Ryan's like, you're watching. I'm like, I'm not, I'm I am, but like I'm not really. Right. I don't know. It's like it's just background noise. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but something new. Yeah. Speaking of dating shows, did you hear that they they've been teasing this for forever and they had like officially announced it? Um, that they're doing uh what they're calling the golden bachelor. It's like old oh. people. No. no. They were and casting for that so long y- ago. They've been casting for that forever, like for so long. And they announced the guy and he's like 73 and like a hunk. Oh my god. He's 73. Seven, pull him up. Okay. We pull need him a photo. up. That's giving television. Like, and, I want to see that. This is at least something different. Yes. You know? And I want to see this man. For 71? He looks wow. like, oh yeah, um, Harrison Ford and um, the guy from the tequila. Liam Neeson. Who am I thinking oh. of the tequila commercials that's super famous? Oh, uh, 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 uh Joe oh. Sackey's. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, he totally does. Yeah. For yeah, for a man in his seventies, it's, it's giving. If I was in my seventies and my grandkids were like, "You should go on this reality TV show to meet a guy," and I was like, eh, "I don't know," and then I saw him, I'd be like, "Okay, okay." Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it makes me I think of the grandma from Mulan. Sign me up for the next war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she sees Shang walking. Yeah, She's yeah, like, "Holy yeah. shit!" Yeah. So you can add that to your uh, rotation. I haven't watched The Bachelor in a while. I've never seen it. Well, I'm it's running out of stuff. So I'm, I'm 
It's but, boring. Yeah, but this. But that could be fun. <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, I want right. to see like older people find love. Like yes. that. Like I right. understand. Like super fun. Like the thirty. I want to see a seventy-year-old find love and right. what that looks like because they don't have that. Right. And I'm interested to see how they try to play up the drama because it's so overplayed. Mm. Of the can I steal him for a sec? I'm here for the right reason. She's here for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Right. Like it's the same talking right. points every season with the drama. Right. What's this drama gonna be right how are they gonna interrupt each other to like pull him away right what are they gonna like what kind of activities are they gonna do on their dates who's gonna get the villain edit yes which is (laughs) like like a big thing from the production side where they always choose like seemingly or unseemingly one candidate to get the villain edit and they have no idea until it starts airing because they don't (gasps) get to see it is there gonna be like an evil old lady right and also like like obviously like if we were all on show right we could like play up the drama and like that so but like when I'm 70, let me tell you what I'm not really trying to do. Like, the dramatics of it all. Like, I know I'm right. on a show, but also, like, I'm old and I'm not trying to right. do all this. And, yeah. and my my grandma is, like, 83. I I don't know anyone else in my life who has less of a filter. She thinks it. Right. She says it. Maybe yeah. they don't need they don't need a villain edit. Yeah. It's not to be just, the drama. It'll just come. They're going to say it themselves. Like I'm yeah. thinking my grandma, if she was on that show yeah. and someone like did something that irritated her, she would just say it. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure then the other old lady would just say, say something it. back. Yeah. Right. Oh. And then someone would be like, and I'm too damn old to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> right. Fair. Okay, so maybe my first ever uh, episode of The Bachelor I'll be watching will be The what Golden. Is it the Golden Bachelor. The Golden Bachelor. Yeah, they're not wasting time. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's that's a tagline. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> and they're not wasting no time. time to waste. Yes. I like that, Jess. That's a good one. But also, do you think it's gonna be sad to see like old ladies get their heart broken? No, uh, no, <laughs> no. I don't because I don't think they will be getting their heart because they're not trying to find love for like all. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the stakes are different. Yeah, yeah. Right? A lot of them have probably already been married or they have an yeah. established life. They're not like fresh out of college, right? Like, and they're like, I'm looking for love because like I have a like I think it's they have a, a, they've lived. Their life and it's they're a like, bit different yeah, i know exactly what i'm looking for because i've had three husbands right I've yeah. that in the fourth like it's giving such different content like right completely also I'm once so in a lifetime opportunity like television wise because right. they don't show women over certain ages like even in movies and stuff where it's yeah. called for so, yeah like, breaking into the reality television sphere where they get to like have full bodily autonomy and right. be shown as like romantic and possibly like sexual people like right. yes. Ooh, that's so fantasy tea. suites Oh. Sponsored by Viagra. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but oh but I do tea. think that's like great. That's no, that's yeah, great. I love representation, it. bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like it will motivate. I hope older generations to get back out there if they're like hesitant. Yeah, if they're yeah, if they're feeling like I missed it, I I missed the train. I can't do the thing. And seeing TV-wise. those girls being like, well, they're my age, and they're out here acting like that with that man. Right. You know. I hope so. I hope to see more old ladies I will on be the s- television. Yeah. Some influencer grannies after. Like, how cool. <laughs> yes. Right. Sign me up, please. Right. I want it. Because you're right. After you All the people always become like influencers after that show. And right. they always yeah. have like a podcast <laughs> right. or they have this on the board. Right. The grannies are like, Right. Into the, I like that. I like yeah. that. I like too. That's nice good. catch. See, thanks for sharing. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Welcome. And I just realized that my next guilty pleasure actually is around the same topic. And it and I wrote watching any any like TBT nostalgic from the vault just to feel something. Yes. Like, I'm putting it on and I'm like, I just need Cadet Kelly to slap this shit out of me because right. I, I just want to feel like I'm ten. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. And just pretending. Yeah, I feel that with the nostalgia. Same. And I feel guilty because I'm like. To pretend? Why are we doing that? But some, but sometimes, yeah. Pretend. Well, because everyone's like, oh my God, have you seen this new show and this new show and this new show? And you're like, no, I'm watching That's So Raven for the yeah. 400th time. Maybe I don't want to watch Outer Banks season two, but I definitely want to watch the That's So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana. Right. Yep. To feel something. Yes. Yep. And uh, Sierra just told me they added H2O, so I will be watching that. Right. Thank you. Again, great nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Right. Just to feel something. I just, just, I just yeah, need I a just little. Wanna, mm. Yeah. That is the end of my guilty pleasures list, ladies. Oh. <laughs> Same. Oh, I'm like, how did I, I, I felt like I didn't have a lot, but now I've ended up with, with a couple to just sprinkle in here at the end. Give it to us. Okay. I have three more. Playing Candy Crush and or Fish Tycoon. <laughs> yeah. It's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's also embarrassing how much time I've spent playing those games. Mm-hmm. Like Pokemon Go, I'll own that. Like, right. Love that. Checks out for me. Like. Fish Tycoon and Candy Crush. Right. What are you doing with your She's life? She's by herself yeah. playing it. Yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, 
See, and the thing is, I only I go through phases where I'll play it a lot. Like if I'm sick, or like if I, you know, just ha- if I'm not like into a show, instead of watching a show at the end of the night, I'll like play that. Right. But like it was, I think probably the worst when I was pregnant with Grace, and I had really bad morning sickness because mm. I'm like I can't even like keep my eyes open for a whole show. But I'll play a little bit and then take a nap, and then mm. play a little bit. Right. Mm-hmm. Check up back up on my fish. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I uh, actually would love to play Roller Coaster Tycoon again. Did you guys ever play that? Oh. On the computer, on the desktop. On the PC. Yes. Yep, on the yeah, desktop. I would love to like get it on my computer and just build a little theme park. Did you ever play the Zoo Tycoon and all yep. the other like branches of it? Bruh. No. Yeah. It's like Sims, but slightly weirder and better. Okay. Like that ta- I like Sims. There was yeah. this tycoon, like the one they're talking about that tycoon game is like you would build your own roller coaster and then mm. you would like get to ride it. Like, oh, I love and, like, that. And like make a theme park. And make a whole yeah. theme park. Yeah, cute. Okay. Well, it's funny too because like the whole plot of the game is like make money, right? Like it's capitalism. just, it's, it is just <laughs> capitalism the game. Right. But when we played it, I remember one day my brother was like, my older brother was like, I found a cheat code for, uh, for roller coaster tycoon for unlimited money. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, look, you just click right here. You take out a loan and you never pay it back. <laughs> and like they, they never penalize you in the game. Real so we life. would just be like nine, 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 nine unlimited dollars. Right. And never pay back the loan. And maybe that is a, a problem with the game and also real life. Yeah. Real life. <laughs> Listen, take out a loan, never pay it yeah, back. Just What's going to happen? Lo- just take a loan. <laughs> There's, wow. But the fact that my brother was like a cheat code. Right. Take out a loan. And Don't never pay, pay, him back. pay it. <laughs> Take borrow money. Never give that back. Right. Okay. Next, I am one of those people who were, will end up watching large sections of a movie or TV show part by part on TikTok. Oh, so like no. one part will come up on my for you page of like Sydney White, the movie with Amanda <laughs> Bynes that I haven't seen in fifteen years. <laughs> right. And I'll watch. I'll be like, that reminded me of something. Ha ha ha! I remember that movie. Click on the profile one at a time. Just scroll through. I could have sat down and found the movie. And also, they never have the whole thing. It's like segments. Right. But like. So how many parts did you think you consumed that that night that you watched it? Probably 50 plus. She sent Jeez. us like 32. <laughs> I Girl. It, I, it was me, like part 32. Do not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going Which, on. Which, by the but... way, the clip you sent was hysterical. I did, I did watch it. Yes, it was yes, hysterical. Yes. And you know what? The other one I weirdly get so many clips for and end up watching? Young Sheldon. <laughs> Why? I've never seen that. It's, I've I, never from, seen that I've either. I've never seen it except for clips on TikTok, but I've watched a lot of them. And you know Emily Osment, isn't it, from Hannah Montana? No. Oh. Yeah, she plays like his mom. Not her playing a mom now. I that's, know, right? That's crazy. Oh. And like, <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> Excellent. From okay. the TikTok clips. So, and you and you probably will not go out of your way to I like will find. Never, I'm never going to sit down on my computer and be like, young, young Sheldon. Sheldon. Right. Right. But it comes on TikTok and I'm like, haha. Scroll. More. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, and my last one. This is from Steven. Reading Wikipedia while watching any show or movie. Immediately yeah. search the name. If I Sometimes I want to read the plot. Sometimes I just want to like know about like the production. What was right. the budget? When did they wrap? <laughs> what, what was casting like? Right. Can I click on each of the actors and see what else they've done? Mm-hmm. Like I just, and then I'm like, oh, that's why he looks familiar. He was in that one episode of Bones. And right. I used to love the show Bones. Right. Would I know that without it? No. no. Could I enjoy the movie without that? Yes. Also, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. She enjoys it more by just knowing that there's the the information. More info. Yes. Yeah. And I, I'd say about eighty percent of the time, I end up reading the plot, but I only own up to it fifty percent of the time because you're embarrassed. I'm embarrassed because you could just sit there and enjoy the movie like everyone else. Yeah. Right? I have a question. Have you yes. ever updated or edited a Wikipedia page? I have not. Okay. But I know Stephen does. Oh, he does. He currently. Is that not like so Steven? So Steven, yeah. You know what else he used to do? And I've been waiting for a time to bring this up on the podcast. Oh, perfect. Do you guys remember Cha Cha? Yes. The texting service. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yes. yes. Steven in high school used to be paid by Cha Cha to answer the questions. Is that not the most Steven thing you've heard? When Wait. they would text you back. Right. Yes. That was Steven. Oh my gosh. Um, wh- we were probably texting Steven, Steven back in the day and we didn't even yeah. know it. Oh my gosh, so I this guess, is crazy. I know. I guess you could like sign up to be a contributor and you get paid like a quarter a text or something. I'm screaming, right. And he would text the cha-cha answers. Does he also leave Yelp reviews? Yes. Right. And he also is very active in Facebook groups. Okay. All checks out under the Steven totally. brand. Totally, totally. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Well, good. I mean, we know we can trust him because he's he fact is checking. Cha-cha. He, he, he is. Cha-cha. He was he was the one I went to and was like, "Do I ask? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. his yes, face? How, how do I ask a boy out? Yeah, it's literally even the- at like sixteen, being like, oh, how the fuck do I know? Yeah, right? <laughs> he's like, maybe you should. Oh my yeah, gosh! That's so and sometimes funny. you would get some like answers that you'd be like, you'd be like huh? so now it really checks out that there was like random, just Stevens, like random, like, yeah, answering. But also, these like, questions. what did we think it was? I guess, I guess. AI, I was AI, just, AI yeah, like, which totally it would be now. What, yeah. yeah, it would be AI now. Yeah. yeah. Well, those are my uh, those are my guilty pleasures. I think we all had some pretty good ones. We all we all had some um, guilty. Yep. Pleasures. Emphasis on the yeah. guilt. Emphasis on the guilt, and so did some of you guys. So we're going to be reading yes. a few of the group chat submissions that you guys sent in. And the first one I'm going to start with is from Andrea, and Andrea says respectfully. The Scuttlebutt song. I've yep. actually heard quite a, peop- a few people say that they really like it. I don't know how. There is one part. One part. Uh, now that I've listened to it five bajillion times because of Grace. <laughs> right. There is one part that I feel like has like a nice little flow to it. And it's the part about like Prince Eric proposing. I don't know the song enough to know the part. I still haven't heard it. Bro. I know. I know. Listen to it on your on your, on your your drive today. Yeah. Oh, that can be your new belting up. song. <laughs> Yep. Sierra, well, I don't know. And tell us if you like it or not. If you like enjoy it or Tomorrow not. Tomorrow I will report back if I uh, Perfect. Yes. after I've listened. Andrea, when if you if you're watching this, let us know in the comments. Is it you just feel guilty for liking it at all? Or do you play it? Like, is it in rotation? Right. Are you like in the car, like, oh, you know what I really just would really just hit right now? Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. Mm-hmm. Like on your right. Spotify wrapped, is it gonna, is it gonna be is there? that gonna be there? Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Or is it just like you I know, like it. It wasn't that bad. I like it. Mm-hmm. That's a great question. Because that's like, yeah, okay, guilty pleasure. Right. Listening to it, like, if it's in your top Spotify raps, like. Right. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. one. And I feel like this one's going to be juicy because the next one I have is anonymous, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, anonymous's guilty pleasure is going to 7-Eleven, picking up three cheesy taquitos and a gigantic (laughs) iced coffee, rolling a joint and sitting out on the deck, (laughs) scrolling TikTok. Anytime I have the house to myself, which is rare, this is my little ritual. So trashy, but it really hits the spot. What do you mean? But you know what? I think it's probably the 7-Eleven taquitos. taquitos. (laughs) I feel the same way about the taquitos, and I also am like, no one look at me. I know. You you get those taquitos. I know. I mean, I I have it in a minute, but man- I've never Ooh. had a 7-Eleven taquito. And they make cheese ones, she says? Yeah. We are about to, perhaps we yep. should test out this routine. <laughs> I have another anonymous one here. And it's funny because I feel like if it's anonymous, like they really are like, embar- guilty. I'm so <laughs> if you put your name on it, like, yeah, it's like a guilty pleasure. But, but like, you're owning it at least. Yeah. yeah. If you submitted and you said anonymous, like that's like, you're, you're guilty. Yeah. yeah. Anonymous. 45-year-old mom of two, 18 and 20. House is busy, but when everyone is out, I love listening to erotic literature and then self-care. Not even my hubby knows. <laughs> Thank you for sharing yeah, that with us. I love that. And you know what? You don't need to feel guilty about it, but also like you get if if you have fun like keeping that to yourself, like don't feel like you have to tell yeah, anyone. Because also there's a little bit of that that's like nobody oh, knows. All guys. Ew. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Period. so it can continue to still be like a little guilty pleasure. Yeah, don't right. tell, don't tell no one. Yeah, yeah. don't tell them. <laughs> and not like don't tell them because it's bad. Like don't tell them because like, like that's for you. That's for you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Love that. Period. Anonymous. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> love that. Okay, this one is also from anonymous. They say, I love this topic. Mine is definitely social media stalking. I don't do it often, but sometimes you just want to be petty and see what an ex significant other or ex friend is up to. Is it the healthiest thing to do? No, but sometimes you just can't help it. I feel that. Like, let's just say what it is. There's something a little bit therapeutic about, like, seeing what the fuck is going on. Like, an ex, sometimes you're like, I just want to see. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just nosy. And, you, and you're like, and I know I'm not supposed to be here, which is why it's, I feel so guilty. <laughs> <Right. laughs> exactly. You're like, I definitely shouldn't be doing this, but I know. I'm going to do it. I know. Do you think that there ev- ever will be an option to view who can view your profile on Instagram? Happening? I feel like you can't. You can do it on TikTok. So why wouldn't they yeah. be able to do you it on Instagram? Yeah. And LinkedIn. I just don't know. Yes, on yes, yes. LinkedIn too, mm-hmm. yeah. They can do it. Will they do it for Instagram? Probably. I hope not. I hope not. Because it's I already hope. enough of a panic of like, what if I accidentally like something? Right. Mm-hmm. Burn, I don't need to be showing up a burner to the account. Yeah. Burner yeah. accounts. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's get a burner account. <laughs> <laughs> the next one I have, Trisha Paytas ASMR, enough said. Right. 
That's it. That's right. All that's there. and it's guilty because it's Trisha Paytas, but like it's so good for no reason. I I just don't. Here's the thing. I realize why I like it, and this is not about me, but I'm gonna make it about me. I like Trisha Paytas ASMR because you can tell that she like probably did like theater or something back in the day. Like it's all improv. It's all improv. She and she's like role playing. Like if she's like pretending to be like a doctor or something, she is just saying literally anything and doing things. And you can tell that like you can tell when she's like thinking a little bit or if she says something that doesn't really make sense. But she like goes on and on with the story. And I'm like, you are really just it's just coming out of your mouth. Like you don't even know what you're saying. It's so good. But you hate improv. I hate yeah, I hate <laughs> I hate doing improv, oh, oh. and I don't enjoy like watching people do it because it's, it's so Trisha. corny. But like she's like also, but she's like helping me sleep, so I like that. And it's like less corny. I don't know. I just uh, yeah. Anyways, this is not. I don't know what. Sorry. Yes. What, did, you did you submit this? Did you submit? I swear right. I didn't. I swear I didn't. All swear I did right. It. There's no name on it or anonymous. Um, and I'm like uh, <laughs> anonymous. Oh, whose number is that? Oh, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one is me. Uh, and also anonymous. Eating peanut butter by the spoonful. Yes. Mm. Yes. In my house, growing up, it was a thing that if we asked to eat something and it was close to a meal time. And my mom said no. And we'd be like, I'm hungry. She'd be like, eat some peanut butter. Like, right. spoonful of peanut butter. Like, that was the thing of like, I'm hungry and mom's cooking. Right. Spoonful of peanut butter. Still, every now and then, it just hits. Oh, yeah. Mm. I just did it the other day. Uh, not because um I wanted to, but I didn't have any groceries. Um, And I was really hungry. So I was just <laughs> eating peanut butter. And it hit. Yeah. I think there's something about it, like, not feeling. It kind of feels filling a little bit but it also kind of hits the sweet tooth a little bit yeah and also the salty because it's like peanuts i don't know it just like it like hits a lot of the different tastes yeah You're so right yeah it's so good you saying that is girl dinner yeah, yeah girl, girl dinner. dinner yeah that's we exactly. should do that sound with us all just scooping into a jar of peanut butter <laughs> literally right. okay this one's from anonymous but they have a whole list so there's a few on here number one Binging slash quoting SpongeBob as a 32-year-old woman. Feel that Love heavily. It. Number two, a bowl of cereal at midnight. Also feel, sometimes cereal is better at night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Steven eats cereal for dessert. That's right. like, if it's like late in the evening, we have like an early dinner and he's like, I just want like, I want a little dessert. I'm going to make a bowl of cereal. Yeah. What kind of cereal is it? Like cornflakes. Like corn something flakes. just like normal. Yeah. So, something Look, not even like super sugary. No, it's sugary not even like, it's like Lucky, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Right. Right. Cocoa Puffs or yeah. something like Reese's corn Puffs. Cornflakes. Yeah. He's like <laughs> so Rice Steven Krispie Treats. Yeah, right. right. Like right. So no blend. sugar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then the third one is reading a book in one sitting with zero interruptions. Oh. Dang. I don't have the attention span for that, but if I did- that would hit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time, but when I was in high school, there was nothing like starting a book at like 4 p.m. after school and then just reading it the entire evening and then like pretending to go to sleep. And then my parents would like go to bed and I'd be like, anyways, light, light on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Finish the entire book. That's the first John Green book I ever read, Looking for Alaska, one entire sitting just like that the day I got it. Oh my Dang. gosh. I, my brother would do that. And so my mom, they leave that at the store and he'd buy a book. And my mom would be like, you don't get to read this until – because he would be reading it in the store and then read it in the car and then finish the book by the time we got – she's like – because then he'd be like wanting another book. And she's like, we just – bro, we, <laughs> we just have books at home. Book. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. I was like, maybe that's the situation. You just take him to Barnes & Noble. You're like, all right, read a book quickly. Yep. We'll be done yeah, so soon. we don't have to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just for a couple hours. I'll drop you off. Here's some money for Starbucks. See you in a couple hours. Right. <laughs> All right, my next one I have is, my name is Izzy and I drink a glass of milk almost every morning and night. I recently met someone new and in an attempt to bond, I joked about this being my toxic trait to which she said, oh my God, me too. But you couldn't waterboard that information out of me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Izzy, I love that you use that as like a bonding tool. Yeah, yeah. I love that you found your, your person with that. And that yeah. even though she was like, oh my God, me too, she was like, but, but that stays here. Crazy that you would actually share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. But now that we're here, yeah. Don't got bring milk. this up again. <laughs> got got milk. milk. Yeah, I guess my question is like regular milk? Whole milk. Whole milk. 2%. Almond milk? Sil the silky one that like tastes like vanilla a little bit. Is it like Sli sometimes chocolate Sli milk, strawberry milk? Right. Is it just or is it just up? straight up a glass of milk morning and night? Right. I think it's the latter. Yeah. 
Mm. I feel like she would have specified. If you're it right. Was it like, like, you're right. Yeah, no, just, just a milk. glass of straight no, up. Right. Which with Grace, like her pediatrician and like the AIP recommends like that they have, you know, milk every day. And so Grace, we give her like two glasses of milk a day and she drinks it and that's like very normal. But I'm like, at, at what age does that like stop? Apparently for some people, never. It doesn't stop. Yeah. Like my dad used to for like a long time like a glass of milk with his dinner. Me too. And that was just like, we never, like in in my Latin household, that was not what we were doing, but then like my dad did that and my mom was like, I think that's a white person thing because (laughs) she's like like, with milk, she's like, seriously, like with this? She's like, no, you need a cold coca, please, like please. So I know that that might be Yeah, my grandpa was like that too and I was very confused all the time by it. I was like, milk doesn't even go with this, but I don't think it has anything to do with that. Like it's Mm -hmm. just- fresh like a cold and i can't really i don't like milk Mm -hmm. yeah like that so i don't i really don't understand it but can you explain why but but then she'll out herself and that's well yeah just send us send another text in the group chat and tell us (laughs) why (laughs) just why okay this message says hi ladies my guilty pleasure is red robin burgers Mm. i wanted a free burger so i set up an email address solely for the purpose of receiving red robin coupons I made a fake birthday and everything to get the free birthday burger. So now I get two birthday burgers a year. I have a problem. Why stop at two? Yeah. I'm like, you could have one every month. Totally. Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail. Right. AOL. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Use your work email. I'm there with you. Right. The campfire sauce at Red Robin. Bro, Red Robin's good. I love Red Robin. The seasoning on the fries is Mm -hmm. good. You can buy it, right? Yeah. You can make it at home. Yeah. Yeah. Also, their onion ring tower. Great. Everything about it, honestly. I just like, I like the atmosphere too. Yeah. Like, it's a little like, uh, it's you know, Robin. okay. But like, I like Red Robin. I do too. Yep. I'm with you, honestly. Yeah. And that was like Steven and his friends thing in college. Like, right mm. when I met Steven, is they would always go to Red Robin at the mall. Mm. Like, right. And half of his friends worked at the mall. So they would all just meet at Red Robin. And now still, like, when they want to get nostalgic, they're like, guys, Let's go, Let's go to Red Robin. Robin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The one in the mall was definitely like that. That that was the one. And the yeah. endless fries, like us with the, right. a little bit of money. Guess what? I'm gonna be at the mall all day. I like. I'm like. I'm getting a burger and endless fries. And, and endless giving fries. the fries to my friend who obviously doesn't have money to like. Right. Because they already spent it all at Hot Topic. <laughs> yes. And it's like this is all my money. So yeah. there we are. And then you can f- sit and gossip forever mm-hmm. with just right. endless, mm-hmm. fries. endless fries. And I love that we're all talking about the same Red Robin. That I, is I, like I to- what's yeah. like you saying the Red Robin at the mall. I'm like. We yeah. could have stumbled. We upon could have been each there. Other. I, I, there's no way we have it like Graced walked each, past yeah. each other before we knew each other. Like there's right. no way. I mean, C- Sierra and I were at that same event for the National Youth Awards, and I can't believe we were in the same oh, building. That's right. And we had a mutual friend who was there, McKenna, who sat right. next to me at the thing. Like how we're so close. It's crazy. Missed I connections. Know. I know. Crazy bro life. Crazy. Okay, this one's fun. You'll like this one. The, this one is anonymous. I don't know why maybe they're really just ashamed they said re-watching youtubers old vlog misses including sierra's oh, <laughs> i love and that. like i feel that but not when it's not christmas time yeah. i don't want to see a christmas tree i don't want to hear a jingle bell until after halloween absolutely i'm not an after thanksgiving person but after halloween mm-hmm. I halloween agree. needs its time yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and it's like summer until it's october because then it's Halloween. Yes. And then it's Halloween until it's Christmas, basically. Exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll let the Halloween stuff in September. Yes. But recently, like recently, recently, it's July as we're filming this, there were Halloween de- decorations at Target. Mm-hmm. I saw them at Costco. No costumes. way. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It all starts once 4th of July ends. Oh, they, right. they They sell that red, white, and blue. They put it on discount and they're like, we're done. Summer's over. Right. The, the, the stores are back to school and everyone else is doing Halloween. Right. Literally. That's and I'm so starting tea. to see it, starting to see it online too. Like I'm mm. starting to see like the Halloween memes be like, I know we're still in summer and it's hot, but I want to be. Right. Be Bundled at the pumpkin. Up at the, yeah. Which means uh, we're going to have to start brainstorming our Halloween costumes pretty soon here. Yes. Like soon. Yeah. I can't believe it's about to be time again. And I just don't. We better bring it, ladies. We have because to bring we it did year. the most last year i'm like do we even ask them because i'm scared what i know you- <laughs> i'm scared you're gonna say something crazy <laughs> yeah maybe now's a good time now you're right because yeah. then we can brainstorm so Gee. if you want to leave comments or text us on the group chat your costume ideas that you'd want to see us do now is the time because i imagine in a couple weeks from filming this when this is live is when we're going to start brainstorming. brainstorming definitely yeah 
So. Oh my God, that's so exciting. How though. exciting. But anyways, back to Vlogmas. So I guess this person who watches old Vlogmas is including yours. I feel, <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I posted it. I know. <laughs> and like, I'm sure they're fine. But like, right. to, I don't know. I don't know if anyone feels this way, but like, I feel like it's, we all just kind of cringe at our older selves, whether it's like your 17 year old self or like your 25 year old self. Like yeah. once you gain more perspective and you change, you always feel like cringy about your old self. Right. And I feel like in my 20s, when I was like starting YouTube and stuff, I felt like, oh yeah, like it's normal to feel cringy about your old self. Like, when you were a teenager. Right. But now I'm at the age where I feel like cringe about myself just a couple like pre-pandemic, like during the pandemic. Right. I know. And but I guess that's a sign of growth. Yeah. Right. 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 And I guess a lot of people don't really have the same type of feeling because majority of people like don't have like a video log of their lives pre any time. Right. So it's just like photos or memories of cringy shit and they don't actually have to go back and look on it yeah. not the case for you yeah yeah I, I i have as an influencer a a log of myself in extensive detail yeah uh, yeah it's a lot yeah i bet it is <laughs> i bet it is but also i'm sure that at some point i will look back on this version of myself and feel a level of cringe mm-hmm. right and i should because that means i've grown but also there's i feel like there's a party that will be so glad that you did do all of that because then you can go back and like kind of relive all of those things yeah. and you'll be so happy that you recorded all of it. Absolutely. Because in the moment, that was your truth. Yeah. Right. I was living, laughing, and loving. I'm still as living, we laughing, 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 laughing. As we do. <laughs> all right. Our next one says, hey girls, love the pot as always. One of my guiltiest pleasures that people literally look at me like I'm cr- crazy for is melting cheese onto Cheerios. It's so good. No, it's not. Cheesy Cheerios? That sounds like a Ew. fair food. Deep fried cheesy Cheerios. Right. Yeah. But also like anything deep fried I could be okay with. But this but just sounds the cheese. like Oh my it's gosh. Just... So it's like you set it up like if you were about to make nachos, like you just pour some Cheerios oh, yeah, like... on a plate and then you put like sprinkle cheese on it. Melted and cheese. And then melt it. What kind of cheese? Are, but are you, but oh. uh, that's the thing. Like are we melting? Is it like nachos where melting you're sprinkling cheese the too. cheese and like putting it in the microwave? Or have you melted the cheese and are you putting it on? Melting cheese onto Cheerios. It's giving, I sprinkled some uh, Mexican mixed blend onto right. the Cheerios. <laughs> right. Threw it in for 30 seconds and was like, I also want to know how she there? Yes. How did you, how did get, you get there? there? Did you also ha- uh, go to 7-Eleven, have a cheesy taquito and roll up a joint? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Girl. <laughs> Wait. I, I yeah, kinda... where did the Cheerio, like why, why that combination? Like what was... The only acceptable excuse is that you tried it as a child and then like fell in right. love with it. Mm-hmm. Like, because as a kid, we all make weird right. concoctions. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. right. But if you, if you like a year ago were like, mmm, cheesy Cheerios. But yeah. also, I mean, I don't know. When, when I was pregnant, I craved some weird stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, it, maybe, uh, maybe if you're pregnant or maybe you just have. Weird food cravings. cravings. Yeah. I just want to say one thing. And you know what? I won't be as upset if it's regular Cheerios, but if it's Honey uh, Nut, hu- bro. I was just about to say, but if yeah. you're melting cheese on Honey Nut, girl, woo, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. Imagine the honey, like the sweetness That's of the honey saying. and like the savory of the cheese. Because I do a understand that like Cheerios. A part of me kind of wants to try it just to see what she's talking about. Okay. Are you down? I'm kind of down. What? Look at her face. <laughs> just to try it. Just to try it. I'm down to do anything once. Well, yeah. what if you guys like it? Then you guys are Then doing we're going to be like her. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. I'm sure she lives outside of the Cheerios and cheese thing. Lives a very happy, normal life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> outside outside so of the really weird that. shit. <laughs> right. Okay. Well. I'm going to. And you know what? I think that that's like a time for when I have like the drunchies or something. And I'm like, yeah. okay, it's yeah. going to be crazy. What are we doing? Like, I'm not really like. Right. And then I could be like, oh, shit, this was something. Yeah. I'll, right. I'll report back. I will do okay, it. I'll well, take it for the team. Know. I will. Thank you so much for your recipe and uh, <laughs> vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The> recipe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, should I? Should we do one last one? Yes. Bring okay. us home. Bring us home. This is from Elisa. Hi, hey, hello. My name is Elisa, and I have been watching Sierra for over five years now, and I am a huge lover of the pod. 
There's something about the dynamic of you three. Oh, so sweet. Anyways, she <laughs> says, my guilty pleasure is convincing my husband that he needs some him time. Also that I can lock myself in our bedroom, lay down with some hot Cheetos and ice cream, and watch Housewives of Atlanta love and hip hop and scroll TikTok till I pass out. Love you girls. Ryan, keep promoting strength and individuality. I love you. Paloma, keep spreading happiness and acceptance. I love you. And Sierra, keep showing us that accepting and loving ourselves is the true way to happiness. I love you. Okay. You don't so want me to come for you. That's why. No, I know. I know. <laughs> so, so many things. So, there. So, so many things. So nice. So many so, things. So nice. Thank you. Love you. Oh, my God. And then also convincing your man that he needs some time. Guilty. Ah. Guilty. Guilty. I'm like, do you want to go play League of Legends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Don't worry, baby. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. God, yeah. stop talking to me. <laughs> Bruh. I feel that. I, I know you've had a stressful week at work. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. You just decompress. Yeah, you take some time and yeah. like, I'll just wait for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Yeah. Honey, I'll give you your space. I'm just going right. to leave the bedroom. <laughs> touch yep. Giving you space, girl. Love <laughs> that. Love that. But also, I love that little last bit. Can you read that bit again? What? That was just so, the part where like, she was like, and Ryan, do this. And Paloma's doing this. Yeah, she said, Ryan, so keep promoting strength and individuality. Paloma keeps spreading happiness and acceptance, and Sierra keeps showing us that accepting and loving ourselves is the true way to happiness. That's, That's so sweet and nice. That was so sweet. And I will. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It's, uh. it's funny with the podcast because I feel like when people like you, Elisa, say those kind of things, it holds a different weight because I'm like, you've seen a lot of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Through this podcast and not filtered and not edited and not like perfectly composed and scripted, just me. Right. Mm-hmm. Hanging out, yeah. chatting with my friends. Mm-hmm. And so when when like we get that kind of stuff from the podcast viewers, I'm like, yeah, feels like you really see me. Yeah. 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 And that was so like directly like catered to each of us in a way that I haven't even heard that. Like she said, your guys and I'm like, oh, my God, that's like that's tea and that's tea. I love that. I'm like sc- screenshot it and send it out. I'm like, we need to put that somewhere because that was so. I don't. That was so beautiful. Frame those I words. Frame those words. Throw a sapia filter on, like you. Yeah. Would do. <laughs> we'll yeah. frame it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great one to end that, on. Yeah, that was yeah. really good. Oh, what a I great love episode. That. that was fun. That was super fun. We like yeah. I accidentally, I think, roasted each other and our audience, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all <not> right. <laughs> and if you want to roast us for our guilty pleasures in the comments, definitely do so. Also, drop your guiltiest pleasures in the comments yes. and uh, we can all roast each other. <laughs> yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Help us hit 100K and uh, follow and rate us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We love you and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.